up, YouTube? It's Andrew Legend here today with Bean, who is snuck in the basement again. Yep, I'm very sneaky. I'm a sneaky little Bean. He must be leaving like a window open that I don't notice. I'll never tell. But uh, we're continuing our Fetch into Ugin series that Bean uh, graciously supplied this amazing booster box for. We've fetched, we've Ugin'd. So let's see what happens on today's episode. This is episode three. This is week two already. Yeah, it's pretty amazing. And you know, if we, re I think it's almost time to retitle the series because at this point, really, it's going to be called unrealistic expectations because now I just want more. And to be honest, probably shouldn't even expect oh, more. Oh, the greed! The greed setting in with Bean. Yeah. I will say though that uh, my uh, my faith in purchasing boxes has definitely been restored. You so. know, it's like this is the first booster box you've ever bought, right? This is true. So it's like gambling. It's like you go and gamble, you win that first time, and then you're just going to lose a lot after this. So That's right. So I've got that going for me. So you've hit, but let's see if you can hit big. Let's see if we can do it. So foil Ugin. That's it. We're going to pull foil, foil Ugin foil out of one Ugin of these packs. Series. It's going to happen. You know, a foil Mythic's one in every six boxes. You're that's a that's a real fun fact, by the way. Not one of our made up fun facts from our last series. <laughs> yeah, that, that is a real. Yeah. <laughs> that's a that's an it, actual it's, statistic. It's not guaranteed, but that is the statistical odds of doing that. As All I right. zoom in the camera here for everybody. So let's see cool. if we can uh, defy the statistics. So, ancestral vengeance, a war flare, a soul summons, soul tie skullkeeper, reach of shadows. Whoop. Ah, oh, this word. This word is my arch nemesis of this series. Teamer, battle, battle, rage. It's Teamer. Part of the, part of the uh, become immense combo for Atarka Red. Uh, return to Earth. A Mardu Scout. That's an awesome little art. Archers of Kursai? Maybe? Archers of Don't See Play is what yeah, I Yeah, there you go. Fierce Invocation. Ooh, there's a there's an uncommon cease play. Valorous stance. Orc sure shot. Oops, sorry about that. Ruthless instincts. And rally the ancestors. So clearly there has to be a foil Ugin hiding. Well, this behind is this, this is a good card though. This is part of rally. Um, this is there's like three color rally, four color rally. So definitely go over this card for the kiddos at home. Well, here you go, kiddos. Rally the Ancestors, two white and X. Uh, return each creature card with converted mana cost X or less from your graveyard to the battlefield. Exile those creatures at the beginning of your next upkeep. Exile, rally the Ancestors. And it's not a foil, Ugin. Uh, it's a Bloodfell Cave. So, on to our next pack to see what we can come up with. I'm not a fan of the rally decks. They seem like too much work. They're so powerful. I mean, they're, they're one of the strongest meta right now in standard, but I don't like bringing back 30 cards from my graveyard. Figuring out how to sequence the triggers, yeah, yeah it's, it's not fun. Not Xandar's cup of tea. Well, Xandar last time on our second pack called what we were going to pull. I'm not you doing no. Stab? no. No? No. <sighs> no way. Not today. I'm not feeling it. Yeah. Well, if you guys are interested in knowing the definition of selfish, go ahead and open up Webster and see it says, see Nathan. So here we go. Jeskai Runemark, Sandblast, Jeskai Sage, Sibsig Host. I'll try and say that three Sib times fast. Cunning Strike, A Ration Cleric, Smoldering Efreet, Hunt for the Hunt the Weak, Mardu Runemark, Formless Nurturing. Getting into the uncommons, Pyrotechnics, Humble Defector, Rite of Undoing, and then Kalagon the Storm's Fury. Looks really great. Not sure that he is actually that great. He does see play in uh, Red Black Dragons, which is in standard. But he is a legendary creature dragon flying. Whenever a dragon you control attacks, creatures you can control get plus one, plus zero until end of turn. And then, of course, he has dash for three uncolored and a black and a red. That was a nice uncolored there. There you go. And there's Blossoming Sands. Not what we were looking for again. But we still have one pack, and we got a spirit token. What more could you want? Speaking of selfishness, this is a great time to like, 
comment, and subscribe to the channel for future content. Every comment, Bean reads them too, but I read them and reply back as well. That's right, Bean is actually sneakily reading the comments as somebody not named Bean, so see if you can figure out who that is. Oh. So, enhanced awareness, Gumar Angler, another zombie fish, refocus, soul summons, will of the Naga, oh my goodness, Teemer Rune Mark, not even going to try. Tasker's Cruelty. There you go. Mardu Scout. Feral Krushuk. A Lightning Shrieker. Bloodfire Enforcers. Another Teamer, Sabertooth. If there's any more Teamers in this box, I'm sure I'll pull them. Uh, Mind Scour Dragon. And a Yasuva Dragon Claw. So, Legendary Creature, Human Warrior, it's a 4-2, has Trample. At the beginning of combat on your turn, you may pay one uncolored and then two blues or reds. If you do, gain control of target creature and opponent controls with power less than Yasuva Dragon Claw's power until end of turn. Untap that creature and it gains haste until end of turn. I don't know if they could have fit more text on that card, Xandar. It's turn, turn, end of turn, turn. And a Tranquil Cove. So, nothing crazy this week, but if you've watched the previous uh, one so far, uh, hopefully more great things to come. Don't forget, once again, like, comment, subscribe. You told, we told them that that's like double like, comment, subscribe. Right, you so know do what? it twice. Ooh. Do it twice. I've got a fun thing for the end of this one. Just because I had a guy drill me on this at F&M, because I didn't know this. So I'm curious if the audience at home knows this. Do you know the difference between a Dijin and an Ifrit? Because I don't. I The guy even lectured me on it for 20 minutes, and I still don't. I don't know if it's because I don't care because he lectured me, but I'm curious if anybody else out there knows, so leave a comment or something.